All right, thanks, Melissa. Continue tracking developments on a pair of deadly crashes in Attleboro. So this was first breaking last night on Eyewitness News at 11. State police say two scenes happening at about the same time, just miles apart. Here's the Pinpoint News Tracker showing you where. First crash happening on 95 South near Exit 1. The second, a few miles up the road on the northbound side near Exit 5. Eyewitness News reporter Brandon Truitt live in the Breaking News Center. Brandon, one of the victims believed to be a pedestrian. Well, Patrick, Danielle, we have two different incidents here, two sides of 95 and two people who have died as a result of these crashes. Right now, state police are working to figure out if they could be related in any way. Let's show you video of the first. This happening on 95, the southbound side near exit one in Attleboro. Massachusetts State Police telling us they got the call for this scene around 945 last night. After responding, they found a male victim who had died after being struck by a vehicle. Police say the driver kept going. Right now they're working to identify that vehicle and the driver responsible. The interstate in this direction was closed well past midnight. Crews were uh, there working. Car were diverted off exit one to make it around that scene. Massachusetts State Police telling us roughly the same time as that crash came this one. A different scene, this time on the northbound side of 95 near exit five. These two scenes about seven miles apart. State police say a car went off the road, crashing into a wooded area. A person in that vehicle died. Right now, it's unclear if that person was a passenger or a driver. Police closed one lane while they were investigating that scene. So this morning, there are multiple investigators working these scenes, trying to figure out if they might be related in any way. As of now, police do not have a uh, description of that car in the fatal hit and run. Of course, if we get any information, we'll be sure to pass it along to you. Live in the Breaking News Center, Brandon Truitt, Eyewitness News.